Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about Kingdom Hearts 4 again. I know it's not really a popular little topic on my channel, but I'm gonna talk about it because I like Kingdom Hearts, and because I like Kingdom Hearts, you all have to hear me talk about it. I'm just messing with you, but no, um, seriously, the reason why I want to talk about Kingdom Hearts 4 is because as you guys know that when Sora disappeared from the regular world, he went to unreality, which is Quadratum. Quadratum is literally the real world, basically Shibuya, Shibuya um, the 106 um, building in Tokyo, of course, Tokyo, Japan. And if you guys know that if you play The World Ends With You, that is kind of like where it happens to where it, that, the people over there, that's the real world to them. But certain people are dead, you know. So that could be something. That could be something that we can also talk, kind of talk about, which is the cool reflection of of where I'm going with with this whole thing. And the reason why I want to bring this up with the whole quadra, quadratum and unreality is because there is a way to still bring in Disney characters in a realistic sense without bringing in Disney characters. And you guys are like, Trey, what are you talking about? Once Upon a Time from ABC. Do you guys remember that show? If you guys remember Once Upon a Time from ABC, this show took the fairy tale characters from, you know, all, all sources, right? Including the Disney versions of them and twisted them just a little bit around and put them in a world called Storybrooke. They're in our, they're, these characters are in our world in Boston. Um, no, I think in Maine, right? And they have a little city called Storybrooke, which is the realm, which is where a lot of the fairy tale characters from the Enchanted Forest and other realms kind of reside in. And the reason why I'm saying Once Upon a Time is because. Emma Swan is the savior, right? And Emma Swan is, um, and her son, you know, Henry, is the author of Once Upon a Time, with, you know, which he can change reality to what he needs to. What if Sora visits Storybrooke? I know some people are like, well, that'd be impossible. No, not really, because Storybrooke still takes place in the real world sort of and unreality is the real world quadratum is the real world so basically it's our world but Sora's technically dead but he's in our world in some kind of purgatory kind of state like of whatever does that make sense of what I'm saying yes it, it, it makes complete sense of what I'm saying but um the reason why I'm bringing it up is because you can still have the connections of characters and connections of hearts from the Disney worlds, you know, like maybe for instance, Emma Swan, I mean, um, Sir Lysia and Sora said that he needs this or whatever in order to return to the regular world. So while the Disney characters of Kingdom Hearts universe is looking for a way to bring Sora back, Sora can go to Storybrooke because Thrillicia said that she heard of this character, um, this savior called Emma Swan or whatever. And she's supposed to be the daughter of Snow White. Now, Sora is um, supposed to be connected to Snow White. I mean, well, not, he's not connected to Snow White, but, you know, Ventus, the heart of Ventus, and um, Terra and Aqua, they're connected to to Snow White too so she might be able to help him out or whatever and stuff like that and even old character, even characters so you can like you can do the um you can do Ariel you can do Jasmine you can do um what's another what's another character you can do Mulan those characters were connected to Sora and their real life versions of them you know did a little bit of different things um from their own story but what I'm saying is there could be a hinge of remembrance that connects the hearts from Sora because, you know, Sora always be able to connect hearts or whatever, where you can have them be like, you know, um, a part of them, Sora, you know, a part of the Disney characters remember Sora through the characters 
from Once Upon a Time who are still Ariel, Snow White, Cinderella, uh, Mulan, whatever, uh, uh, whatever Disney character he needs to work with, they're still there. It's just that um, they're different versions of them. They're the, the real world equivalent of those characters. Does that make sense? So you can still kind of still play around with a little Disney, though. You get you get what I'm saying? Maybe um him, Sterlesia, maybe we can do something with Cloud or Lightning. Because we um like I said at the end of uh, Final Fantasy um no no Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13, she restarted the world and you know there was no more of that of that um of Etro, the goddess all of that nonsense, and when she woke up, she woke up, um, in, you know, Europe, and she became some kind of, of fashion icon model, or whatever, so that can, that could also be, like, Sora could also reawaken her memories of her past from the previous Final Fantasy 13 game, you know what I mean, it, it's just kind of one of those kind of give and take kind of pool things that I'm, that I'm thinking about, I know it, it sounds convoluted, when you really think about it, but it's not as convoluted as it could possibly be when you really think about it, you know, because if you guys watched Once Upon a Time, you guys know, you guys know that Once Upon a Time is based off of the Disney characters, and it's great that we have familiarity of these characters, and a lot of these characters who you would never think would even connect with each other, have connected with each other in Once Upon a Time, so maybe because I always wanted Sora in the game from Kingdom Hearts to actually show up in Storybrooke before the, the series ended. But since that never happened, maybe we can use um, Kingdom Hearts 4 as a reasoning. But I, I doubt Tetsuya Nomura even knows about Once Upon a Time. Because that'll give a good credence of using, the, using real world characters and kind of still in the world in the realm of unreality but still they're still kind of like disney characters because you know we do have some disney character stuff and hell if you want to you can even use um you can even use live action disney shows if you if you feel like it if you feel like it and the reason why i'm saying live action disney worlds because again those characters can um those those characters can easily be explained in that world you know what i mean um so i i don't know i'm just i'm just kind of spitballing the idea that there could be something way more than way more that's going on but i know some people don't um i know some people don't probably even remember um, once upon a time, but I did, I do, I mean, the last season was, uh, yikes, but, um, only because they kind of had wrapped the story up, and they kind of forced the season seven on it, which it didn't, you know, sometimes when the story ends, the story ends, especially if you're not going to bring back majority of the characters, if you're not going to bring them back, if you're not going to bring back, um, the majority of the main characters, then it just, it makes no logical sense to continue the story, you know what I mean? But I mean that's hey, that's just that's just my personal opinion about the whole situation. My personal opinion, but hey, it is it is what it is, it is what it ain't. <laughs> uh, but maybe there could be something more going on with the whole um quadratum and unreality that could lead Sora into finding um a magical door. Because in once upon a time, there are magical doors around in the real world that some people don't know. They look like regular doors, but those doors take them to places that they, um, different factions of the world that they never knew. And maybe this could take, you know, maybe a, a door could appear in somewhere in Shibuya that Sora finds, and that's that could lead him to Storybrook, and um, that will lead him to Emma. Emma Swan, the um the savior, and Henry, and other you know live action versions of the characters, you know um, from Once Upon a Time, where he can team up with them and they can help him maybe figure out a way to get back to what he needs to. I'm just kind of spitballing here <laughs> because they do go on convoluted like journeys in order to break a curse or break a spell or bring somebody back. So I wouldn't put it past um I wouldn't put it past anybody who wouldn't help Sora because they would help Sora. They you know it is 
that's what they will do. So it'll be kind of it'll be kind of cool to kind of see that happen. But I don't know. I know this is just me wishful thinking. I know they're not really going to do anything with Once Upon a Time because the show's been over for three years, three to four years, I believe. So there, I, of course, there's a slim chance. But I always thought, baby, hey, we can do something with that. But hey, that's just my personal opinion with the whole situation. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Once Upon a Time should make a return in Kingdom Hearts 4 where Sora teams up and work with um, the live action versions of Disney characters, but they're just kind of differently because they're still based off of their most of their fairy tale counterparts and a little bit darker than the Disney characters? I don't know. I'm just saying because that way Disney can still get away with using the Disney characters in a darker sense without actually using Disney characters. Make sense? Okay, cool. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.